actually influenced you growing up or influenced your music? Um, man, I had a top five for a long time, but as I got older, it just like, I just appreciate music. Yeah. So, whoever makes good music to my ear, I appreciate. So, um, everybody got pop somewhere in their top three, you know what I'm saying? Of course, Tupac. Um, and Tupac was just so, he was just so passionate about his message. And that's why you can put him, um, um, by Marley, you can put him kind of in that same category as far as the passion behind it because of what they represented or whatever. But it was it, obviously it was pop. Um, I fuck with Drake tough for the simple fact of how versatile he is, and that's and that's what I base um, my career or whatever my style off of of being versatile. Because I, whenever I'm done, whether I go big screen, mainstream, or not, underground, whatever. Whenever I'm done, I want to look back and say, man, I touch every subject. I touch every coach. I touch everything that I could because I don't want people to be like, oh, I can only listen to him whenever I feel this this way. Like, no, you can listen to me yeah, and you feel got, whatever. He got reggae. Yeah, yeah all that. Uh, yeah. Right, all that. Found music. He got everything. Um, but Pac, Drake, uh, I've been on, on the dirt hard lately. Yeah. yeah. Dirk and Vaughn. King Vaughn hard. Right. Um, who else I've been on? Polo G. I forgot. I thought Polo G tough. Uh, me, Millie. Uh, you can't forget about Cole and Kendrick. They, they, yeah. they tough. Uh, zero. Yeah. Zero to hero. Who yeah. else? You, I mean, it's, 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 it's a lot of them, bro. So to, to kind of sum it up is I just like, I just love music. Yeah. So if you yeah. can make, if you can make a good song, you're more than likely in my, uh, it all. yeah. You know what I mean? You, you're in my playlist. Give my little knives. Let me stop. Let me stop, man. Hey, little knives, bro. It's all love, bro. It's all love. You do you. Do you. Um, I don't have no thoughts. Yeah. Like he, again, that's his way of, of expression. Whether we put it in the right or wrong category, that's on, on people's personal opinion. But as far as like what he's doing, I can't judge the man. It's, 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 on, it's, on, it's on the music aspect. Like, you think he make good music. I actually only heard that one song. I'm okay. sorry. I'm that, that, what is it called? Take oh, my voice to us. Yeah, I heard this song. Yeah. <laughs> but besides that, I never really, I never listened I to any of, the, of his other songs. Um, but I got man, I got uh, Cola Ray in my in my playlist, and people be be on her ass hard. But I feel like some of her songs she made, you know what I mean? And and the thing with music is, uh, is it's art, bro. It is at the end of the day, it is art. So I appreciate anybody. That's why Houston is, is so known. Uh, I appreciate anybody, Pimp C, be, uh, who who uh, who play with it, who is who is art, artistic with it. Like it's like I said before, and in, in, in somewhere else, it's easy to make a thug song. You know what I mean? But I wanna, I wanna, I wanna listen to music where you expression other expression that you normally can't express because it's not cool to do. So love, sadness, depression, rejection, whatever, neglection, I can keep going on. But, um, so I got, you know, Sekola Ray, I feel like is underappreciative. You know who, who I really like real quick to put on, to, to put out there? I like uh, Janae Aiko. Yeah, that's right. Her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she is a wonderful artist, and I feel like she is underrated. I feel like she's very underrated. Uh, I like her a lot. But yeah, uh, I just want to bring up with well, all the artists that you did name. Uh -huh. If you could get a feature with one of them, who would it be? <laughs> Make you think hard about this. I'm gonna have to go with Drake, bro. Drake, yeah. only because uh, number one, the numbers he gonna get just off the bat because this is exactly. Drake for yeah, one. Right. For two, Drake. Well, well besides Tupac, but Drake has been the one that I, I listen to. The longest or whatever, um, and I just like I like how the thing with Drake with with me is I like how he you can tell he's comfortable. I'm a that's the way that's a, that's a way that I can I can kind of summarize it. But you can tell he's comfortable with what he do, and then like with him being comfortable, it gives him confidence. So like the way that that that, that he flow on the beat is like I know who I am. Yeah, you know what I mean, and, and that's kind of how. What Tupac had, like I know who I am, so I'm a mm, yeah. on the beat and it's gonna rock. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Tupac did the hump when he was with the humpies. Uh huh. Thing, and he backed out and he did his uh -huh. thing. And it was more gangster rap. Right. Jake also do that because he was on. He, he 
you'd be on a sad track right. with, with a um, female singer. I can't even think of uh, Rihanna. Uh -huh. It's a track like that. Like, like I said, if you do a rape, you check somebody else. Right. You can come back and do a Hispanic track with somebody right. else and you still be yourself. And that's another aspect of why I would choose Drake because of the versatility. Like, just, you know. Totally. Drake is, yeah, he cold for sure. So, what would you consider your style of rap, just with all of the categories that you named, as far as, you know, the categories that you listen to? Uh -huh. I'm sure that they influenced your rap style. Right. So, what would you categorize your rap style into? Um, if you have to choose one, or a few, N dash A underline underline. <laughs> I can't, yeah. I can't because then even if even if I were to give myself a a specific genre, I would be putting myself back in that box. Yeah, even by me spitting it, you know what I'm saying? So I can't do that to myself, to the listeners, to anybody else because this is not what I believe. I believe that I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, and I'm here. You know what I mean? So I couldn't, I, I couldn't do that. Gotcha, gotcha. I couldn't do that. So when it comes to your music, how do you choose your beats and the producers that you work with? Okay. So the beats, man, it's just about, and I tell people this all the time. I have people come to me, which is actually an honor, but asking me, can I teach them how to, how to make music and, and whatever else? I have other people come and saying that uh, I have a real good ear for music. Like I always, that, those type of comments always in, in the back of my head whenever I create. Um, but with the way that I do music, y'all, I'm just gonna be completely honest with everybody. I just do whatever feels right. I don't, I don't, I don't have a a a, a, a set of rules. That, okay, this beat has this, or this producer does this. I don't do that. Like just whatever feels right. So it can be somebody uh, with two subscribers or two followers or whatever, and they and, and they make up something that's whatever fire to. You know what I'm saying. To my ear, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna work with them because I feel like that's what I feel like is right. And real quick, just throw out there, bro, that type of attitude is a Kanye like attitude. And the reason I say that is because Kanye, and I was talking to Uncle about this, about this yesterday, he doesn't follow the rules. And that's why I like Kanye because typically you would think, okay, if you have an album three months ago, you gonna wait, you know what I'm saying? Probably I don't know, shit, a year or something before you, you know, Kanye about to drop out number two next month. What the fuck? But he don't follow the rules. He does what he wants to do, and that's that confidence again. But um, yeah. I feel that, man. <laughs> it, 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 uh, what Kanye president? No. He <laughs> said no. No, I can't. I mean, you know, Kanye is cool. I would. Man, I would love to have a conversation with him, get on a track with him, chill with him, whatever. But as far as president, bro, um, to be honest, I'm going to just keep it honest with everybody. If, I, mean, I might get hate, whoever, I don't care. Um, I don't really involve myself in the uh, presidents and all of that, whatever. Yeah, I don't really, like, because at the end of the day, bro, God is in charge. Yeah. So whatever happens in that, in that White House happens in the White House. Now, I would pray that we get somebody um, worth leading the country. Yeah. You know what I mean? But as far as me, you know what I'm saying, out there with signs and, or, or me uh, tweeting uh, tweeting about it or whatever, like, that's not my cup of tea. I drink lemonade. <laughs> <I feel like>. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that ain't for me. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I get it. That's for sure. So, just talking about um, features and collabs, because there's a lot of talent in the city, including right. yourself. Of course. So, do you have a person that might have been your favorite person to collab with? Someone that you just, like, you, you actually enjoy collaborating with. Y'all vibe together, y'all made some good music. Um, it's nobody that sticks out. And this is not a shot to anybody, but please, it's not a shot. But there, it's nobody that sticks out. I really enjoy making music with people. Like, I feel like, like, excuse me. My my whole um, concept is, bro. I just wanted to make some magic. Like I heard Alicia Keys say one time uh, that song uh, "Unthinkable" with her and Drake. She say in the studio it felt like magic. So that's my goal. Whenever I'm making music with anybody, yeah. I just want to make some magic where we sit back and like, what the fuck? We just did that. You know what I mean? That's we just right. did that. But the one that I do look forward to the most is my brother. Cause you know, what I'm saying we we blood brothers, so yeah, yeah, yeah. so that that excitement of 
actually being on the track with him. And not just because of my brother, but because I believe in what he's what, what he talking about, too. You know what I'm saying? He got, he got a flow, too. He can rap, too. He got bars, too. So yeah. just that, that connection first from being brothers and then that connection from rapping together, I look forward to that the most. So do we have a release date or anything to be looking for with you two? Um, there is no release date set right now. Um, but I would say that I have so much more coming. Good, I got good. so let me look out your eyes. I got so much more coming. Shout so out, much from 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 videos to clothing lines to features to I got so much more coming. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you one feature I got. I'm not gonna say anything else. I got a feature with OMB Blood Valve. Yeah. And yeah. I'm gonna just leave it right there. Uh, yeah. Shades back on. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> so let's yeah. just talk about that feature. Um, how did that come about? Did you reach out to her or her team? Um she came. I out. posted that freestyle that um for me, <laughs> it'd be the booty for me. That mother's so hard. Yeah. And, uh, and she and she damn me. And then boom, we start talking a little bit, and then boom, and then boom, and then boom, yeah. and then now we're just waiting for the boom to happen. Yeah. So, so, so do you know cool. when can we be expecting this project? So I actually plan on releasing that with my album. Okay. So I don't have a specific date, man. It's by June fourteenth, which is my birthday. I did that last year. I dropped the EP, but um, no, the year before. I'm sorry. No, last year. My bad. I'm tripping. Last year. Anyway. So I think I'm gonna do that again this year, um, but I'm gonna drop an album this time. Um, but it's so much, man. I can see with y'all all day and tell y'all everything that I'm learning. And the thing about an artist is you're gonna always learn something new. Yeah. So especially being in the rap game, there's so much more that I'm learning. So it's so much more that comes with just rapping. Like people may think that it's paper, pen, rap, post. No, it's so much more that comes with it. So with everything that's coming together, um, I don't have a team yet. So anybody, as a matter of fact, if anybody is, I need some ground runners. Uh, I might talk to a few managers. I need some uh, uh, um, graphic designers, some videographers, some producers, engineers, some uh, logo designers. I need like I need I need a team. So until that that happens, I'm doing this. You know what I'm saying with my dot. Right. So it's you know what I'm saying a few of us. So trying to do everything at once and then live an everyday life too. It's kind of like you gotta. Um, uh, it's gonna take some time. Yeah, yeah, time. yeah, yeah. So, so I plan on we in January. So I got about what is that five months, whatever, until June. So I plan on doing it June 14, which is my birthday. Um, if not, then I just gonna say a release date until everything is ready, and then I'll start promoting it. But I do, my fact, I do got a, a a single coming out. Um, it's called Ghetto Gospel. Um, that's gonna be. The song coming out and the video coming out in about two weeks. Okay, What's today? The 28th? Yeah. So probably right before Valentine's Day. Looking out for it. This right is what we're looking for, it, man. Right before Valentine's Day. So since you've been in the music industry, you uh -huh. know, and you've been networking and collaborating with people, what's some things that you would say if you could change about the industry? <sighs> that's, that's a great question. What's something that you might have noticed along the way that you're like, man, I wish, you know, if I could change this, this, this is going to be going on. I'll do this differently. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a few things. And I'm kind of I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of skeptical on, on saying one because I don't want to step on nobody's toes. Um, so I'm going to just go with the lesser evil. I would, <laughs> I would say that I would change people's um, or artists' Um, creations and, and what I mean by that is people because of the set of rules it's not it's not written in stone but because of the set of rules being an artist people have to follow certain guidelines so you can't release them to this day you can't talk about this because of this reason you can't do this because you know what I mean like I would feel I feel like the thing that I would change is I would let artists be artists I will let them flow and fly like a butterfly, and if they fall, they're gonna fall. But if they fly, they're gonna fly. Let them fly. Right, I right. think I would, I would do that. Nah. Throw the rules away. <laughs> let them. You know what I'm saying? It's art at the end of the day. When you, when we lay down, it is art. So right. let them be artistic. So, so tell me this then. Um, what's something that you wish you known before you started rapping? 
Ooh, ooh, it's a lot of shit. I would say that marketing is the biggest, biggest, biggest thing next to making music. It is so important, especially in this day of age. Um, marketing goes hand in hand with, with creating music. Like your marketing, because you can make something that's like, you can make some magic. You know what I mean? But if nobody knows you're a musician, then you will never get known for doing magic tricks. You will be just in your house, in your city, whatever, making magic. You know what I mean? Versus out here doing something that's that's um, that's worth being noticed for. You know what I mean? So um, marketing, bro, it is so big. And I wish that I knew that um, coming in. Because I actually got this song. It's called Understand Me. So I, real quick backstory. It's under D.T.A. That was my first rapping name. Now my name is Kai. But... Uh, understand me. And I got so, like, when I say so much love on that song, so much love, but I didn't market it right. So the love that I could have got, uh, it got stopped at a halt because I didn't know about the marketing. I thought it was just like everybody else. I'm just going to post it, and I'm, I'm going to hope that somebody likes it and, and, and comment and share it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really look into the promotion part or the, the, the um, what is it called? I had a brain fart, whatever. But I didn't really think about everything else. It was just, I hope that people like it. And I got so much love for it, and I wish that... Actually, I don't wish I'm going to actually market that song still. Um, I, got, I got a video coming to that, y'all. For everybody that's listening to this, that's in love with that song, I am working on a video. Just give me a little bit of time, and it's going to come. I got so much love on that song, bro. Um, shout out to a series. She, uh, she sung on it, and, and we, we went hard on that. We, we made some magic that day.